Hey guys, this is Kevin from jazztime.com. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online, and if you want to know the price of the watch, simply click on the links in the description below. If you enjoy our videos, we would greatly appreciate if you'd buy a watch at jazztime.com once in a while. Okay, today we're going to be doing a review on the Rolex uh, Daytona. This is the model number 116. 518. We're going over the dial, bezel, case, crown, bracelet, clasp, and we'll talk about the movements towards the end of the video. Okay, so starting jumping right in and starting with the dial, we have a beautiful black, black dial with black subdials. The subdials all check a different amount of fixed uh, fixed time. So at the six o'clock position, we have the 60 seconds, the nine o'clock position, the 12 hour. And the three o'clock position at 30 minutes, so each sub dial tracks its own time frame, or rather, tracks the elapsed time in conjunction with the stopwatch features of the chrono pushers at the two o'clock and the four o'clock position. The hour markers are beautiful diamond hour markers fashioned in 18 karat yellow gold to prevent any tarnishing. But we still have the Arabic numeral 15, 30, and 45 at their respective three, six, and nine o'clock positions. And then that's also in the 18 karat yellow gold. Same could be said about the hands as well. The hands are of 18 karat yellow gold with luminous tippings, meaning you can have visibility and visibility in the dark for this watch with a highly legible chromolite display. Um, so the, when it is um, when it is during the nighttime, the hands will glow and you'll be able to view the time much more easily. And you can also tell by the landmarks as well during the day from that 15, 30, and 45. Also with the crown logo at the 12 o'clock position, the Rolex, the Rolex name underneath there. With the superlative chronometer officially certified, I mean this watch is officially certified within the Swiss specs for the precision of minus two plus two seconds a day. One thing to mention about the hands is that the hands actually center, instead of being a full complete gold, is actually a black lining through the center of the hands and it actually helps with readability during the day so it's not, has some, uh, has a bit of contrasting so as the sunlight immediately hits the dial of the watch, it's shining very be beautifully, of course very very pleasant to look at but you also do still want to tell the time that sort of small black line of contrast helps with that in, in viewing the time. We have the Daytona name and the red logo uh, and the red texting above that 60 second sub dial as well. Okay, and if you're not interested in this specific dial or if you like the diamond hour markers, the Daytona does come in different dial styles as well. So for the diamond hour markers, of course, we have the black in my hand, but we also have you can also receive it in a champagne dial. And if you just want the stick markers, uh, the very simple stick markers, you're looking at a champagne, champagne black or white dial. Uh, the most luxurious of all dials is the diamond hour markers with a white mother of pearl dial. And that's the only mother of pearl you can get is the white mother of pearl for the Daytona. Moving on to the bezel now. The bezel is a uh, beautiful black monoblock serochrome bezel, which is really a fancy way of saying it's a ceramic bezel. So very, very scratch resistant and very durable. And it's also engraved with a tachymetric scale or tachometer scale or tachymeter scale. There's multiple ways of saying it. Um, but it has a six, does Arabic 60 all the way around in five minute in five increments all the way to the 10 increments all the way around with the units per hour at the top right. And that's, of course, of course, if you want to figure out how that exactly works, we do have a video on our YouTube channel and exactly how to how to read this uh, tachymeter scale. Moving on to the case now. The case is an 18 karat yellow gold case, as you can tell, matching very nicely with the Arabic numerals. The 18, 18 karat yellow gold case is also high polish on the lugs of the case and on the bottom lugs of the case as well. On the side of the watch we have a nice high polish as well of that yellow gold. Okay, The case size itself is a 40 millimeter case size. So from my index finger to my thumb here, 40 millimeters in diameter. That's the size of the watch. The profile of the watch is not too high. Will fit under, will fit under suit cuff stress cuffs very nicely, very easily. On the other side, we have that nice high polish like once again, the, chrono the two chrono pushers, the two o'clock and the four o'clock, and the Rolex crown logo on the main crown itself. Moving on to the crown functions now, the crown simply unwinds counterclockwise as shown. And in the standard position here, you can wind the watch 
15 and 20 winds is all you need from a desktop to get the watch started once more. Pulling your crown out to the next position will allow you to adjust the, the hands of the watch and of course stopping the second hand in the six, uh, 60 second sub dial here for precise time setting so you can set it down to the exact time such as through an atomic clock online set it down to the exact seconds and of course the hands can move bi-directionally. Pressing the crown back in will start that sub bottom sub down once more. And always make sure to screw the crown nice and tight in against the case as you want to keep this watch water resistance for the 100 meters or 330 feet. For the chrono, the chrono pusher features, simply unwind counterclockwise as shown. You'll see that second that central second hand here. And that's started by the two o'clock pusher, stopped by it. And then this four o'clock pusher resets the two sub dials at the nine o'clock and the six uh, uh, three o'clock position along with that central second hand as well, as shown. And of course, make sure these are screwed nice and tight back in the case after you're done using that feature. Moving on to the to the strap now. The strap is a beautiful rubber strap. This is called the Oyster Flex Strap. It's made by Rolex. What it is is a super elastic metal blade over molded by a high performance black elastomere. And it has additional durability dur uh, durability as well. You can see one thing I want to mention, uh, want to mention is you can see these little fins underneath both sides of the strap. So there's one right here, one little rubber fin, and kind of like, it, actually what it does is it helps balance the watch on the wrist so it isn't shuffling around too much, it'll fit nicely on the wrist. But also, it, also it's kind of hard for the light to capture, but you can just kind of see that it's kind of hollowed down the center as well, and that promotes airflow through, through, that, um, through that raising of raising of the strap so your wrist doesn't get as sweaty as you would just having a strap just against the skin. So very, very nice Rolex to make. Moving on to the class now. The class is just a uh, safety for the oyster class as located. This is the safety here. It's this little lock that sits on top of the folding oyster that opens up as so. Revealing these high polish, this high polish class blade with the Rolex name embossed on there. See, very, very beautiful. So once again, closed up. See, nice curvature of the clasp blade to fit on underneath the wrist comfortably. And also very beautiful polishing of the Daytona. Daytona is a sort of a dressier sports watch. So that's why we have the high polish down the center and the sand finish contrasting that high polish to bring more shine out of that high polish. And that's also in conjunction with the high polish on the lugs of the case as well was sort of contrasting shine next in the starting first link. Moving on to the movement now. The movement is housed in this Oyster case backing. The movement is Rolex's in-house main movement. It's a perpetual mechanical self-winding movement. It is a, chrono is a mechanical chronograph movement of the caliber 4130. It has the precision of minus two plus two seconds a day, as I mentioned before, with the text that Rolex likes to boast by here, the superlative chronometer officially certified at the 12 o'clock position right underneath that crown. Has the functions of the hour, minute, and seconds hand, of course, the three sub dials, the stopping and seconds hand with the crown functions and the chronograph pushers functions as well from starting and stopping and resetting as well. The oscillator is a paired magnetic blue pericom hairspring, um, which uh, allows additional resistance against magnetism for the watch. And the power reserve boasts a power reserve at 72, 72 hours. So I mean, you could put this watch on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a, Sunday, a Monday afternoon, it'll be keeping time just fine. Now, let me actually go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist. So once again, locate that folding Safety folding oyster. Here we are. One thing to mention about the oyster flex strap that I did forget to mention in terms of the bracelet portion is that the oyster flex strap is uh, is sort of standardized. Um, you do have to order the correct sizing for the oyster flex when you when you order your Daytona watch, or else it will not fit properly. This one, this one specifically, is a little bit larger than the standard. The standard is of course a seven and a half inch one which has adjustments of five millimeter increments um, of, of downward or upward. So this one is a little bit larger of the, larger than the standard strap. But besides that, look at that gold watch. Just looks absolutely gorgeous. That contrasting from the gold and the black just looks absolutely gorgeous together with the extra shine coming from the diamonds as well. Just looks very, very beautiful. Okay. 
So if you're interested in this watch or any other watch for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazztime.com where the lowest price is guaranteed and we offer a one year warranty. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.